Dear children, now we will learn electric dipole placed in an external uniform electric field. You know what is electric dipole? Now, when you place electric dipole in an external uniform electric field, then what happens? <coughs> you see, it is the electric field as electric field is represented by equidistant parallel lines that means it indicates that electric field is uniform. Here we have placed an electric dipole AB at A you have charge minus Q at B you have charge plus Q. Then what is the direction of the electric dipole moment vector? Electric dipole moment vector is from A to B. So here we have taken Theta is the angle between dipole moment vector and electric field vector. So now, what is the force acting upon the charge plus Q and minus Q? Upon minus Q, the force be F1. You know, force acting upon a charge particle due to electric field F is equal to QE. So in vector form, F1 that is force acting upon minus Q that is minus QE vector. What is the direction? As we have learned earlier, the force acting upon negative charge is in opposite direction to that of electric field. Electric field is towards right, so the force is towards left acting upon minus Q charge. Upon cross Q charge, by similar argument, it is towards right that is F2 vector is equal to plus. QE vector. So what is the net force? Net force F is equal to F1 plus F2 that is minus QE plus QE that is equal to 0. That means net force acting upon an electric dipole in a, in a uniform electric field is 0. If force is 0 according to your Newton's law, first law, then the body is in uh, translational equilibrium. Means here we can say that the electric dipole is in translational equilibrium. Translational equilibrium means either the dipole uh, remains at rest or moves with uniform velocity. Now you see these two forces plus QE and minus QE are equal in magnitude opposite in direction and not acting along the same line. Its line of action is this one and its line of action is this one. So they form a couple. And you know, moment of the couple is the torque. Now, what is the torque acting upon the dipole? That is tau. That is the torque is tau. This torque, you know, that the product of magnitude of either force and perpendicular distance. So either force you take F1 and perpendicular distance between their lines of action. Its line of action is this one plus QE, it is minus QE, then perpendicular distance is AK. So you take it is tau is F1 into AK. Now what is AK? You come to this triangle ABK, if it is theta, definitely it will be theta because that is alternate angle. Now, in this triangle ABK is right angle triangle. So, if it is theta, it will be theta. So, sin theta is equal to AK, that is P by H, AK by AB. What is AB? AB is dipole length, that is 2A. So, AK is 2A sin theta. So, you come to this expression. Now, tau. F1, F1 is QE magnitude we have taken and AK is 2A sin theta. So it is 2A Q E sin theta. What is 2A Q? That is electric dipole moment. That is P E sin theta. Now talk you got P E sin theta. In the vector form, you remember the important expression <coughs> that is tau vector is equal to P vector cross A vector. So it is the expression for the torque acting upon the dipole. So you remember when an electric dipole placed in 
uniform electric field it experiences zero force but it experiences torque that equal to P e sin theta. Now come to some special cases. Case 1, if theta is equal to 0, means the angle between dipole moment vector and electric field is 0. You play it is the electric field represented by equidistant parallel lines. If it is the dipole, it is minus q, it is plus q. The direction of the dipole moment is from left to right. You see here P vector and E vector are parallel to each other, means theta is equal to 0. Then torque tau is equal to P e sin theta. As theta is equal to 0, then torque is equal to 0. Now, case 3, case 2, when theta is equal to 180 degree, means dipole moment is anti parallel to the electric field. Now, you place electric dipole FP, you take minus Q at right and at left plus Q. But the direction of the dipole moment vector that's from right to left. But in the field, left to right. Then what is the angle? 180 degree. So what is the torque? Tau is equal to P e sin theta. When theta is equal to 180 degree, then sin 180 degree is 0. Then torque is equal to 0. So now come to when theta is 90 degree. Another case, case 3. Case 3 when theta is equal to 90 degree. Theta is equal to 90 degree means it is the electric field you plus dipole AP, then it will be minus Q, it is plus Q. What is the direction of the dipole moment vector? This one. So here torque is equal to PE sin theta, that is PE sin 90 degree that is equal to PE that is maximum the torque is maximum when dipole moment is perpendicular to electric field so now if the external field is non uniform then what happens if it is non uniform then what happens Suppose it is the dipole FP, it is the direction of the electric field and you consider this electric field is increasing from left to right. As the electric field is increasing that means at A you take the charge minus Q, at B you take the charge plus Q. Suppose at A electric field is E1 and at B electric field is E2. As from left to right electric field is increasing, then what happens? E2 magnitude is more than E1. As E2 is more, definitely force acting upon E2, that is plus Q due to E2 is more. Let it be F2. And force acting upon minus Q due to E1, it will be less. Because here we have taken E2 magnitude is more than E1 magnitude. Then what will be the net force? Net force will be F2 minus F1 that is towards right. What is the direction? That is towards right. That means if you place electric dipole in non-uniform electric field, it experiences force. But in uniform electric field, it does not experience any force. Then what is the torque here? Here you see dipole moment and electric field are parallel to each other. Here torque is zero. But for any other angle if you place the dipole then it experiences torque as well as force.